twisting and turning skills are vital in many athletic and artistic endeavors. Figure skaters, gymnasts, and ballet dancers typically have a preferred side of turning on the ground and on jumps. This video looks at the turning preferences of athletes and ballet dancers. The turning propensities differ widely depending on the activity. I review some academic research on turning preferences in humans with some surprising results. Innate biological factors can explain some of the turning preferences, but learned behavioral factors are also a likely determinant. Let's examine common turning preferences of figure skaters, classical ballet dancers, gymnasts, and divers before looking at the academic research. Figure skating requires several twisting jumps and spins with seven jump categories and three spin positions. For each jump and spin, the skater must turn in one direction, either counterclockwise, left, or clockwise, right. Most skaters do both jumps and spins in the same direction. The terminology in figure skating on turning is rather odd. Skaters that favor clockwise turns are referred to as lefties, even though they turn to the right, which is clockwise. The derivation of the lefty term comes from a notion that right-handers naturally turn to the left and left-handers turn to the right. As we will see later in the video, this belief is not supported by research. Counterclockwise skaters dominate figure skating. In a 1986 article, Starosta documented the turning preferences of athletes in several sports. Of 512 figure skaters in the European and World Championships and Olympic Games, 74% turned left. Separately, Starosta interviewed 149 skaters from the Soviet Union and Poland to study the relationship between handedness and the direction of turns. Around 86% of the right-handed skaters turned counterclockwise, 8% clockwise, and 5% jump left and spun right. In contrast, for the left-handed skaters, an equal percentage were in the three categories. I looked at the men's and women's figure skating finals in the 2022 Olympics, which revealed an overwhelming counterclockwise preference in both jumps and turns. Clockwise turners were shut out of the 24 men's finalists, with all 24 turning and jumping counterclockwise. Among women, only two finalists turned and jumped clockwise. Thus, about 96% of the men and women in the 2022 Olympic finals turned and jumped counterclockwise. There have been prominent clockwise turners, which includes 2002 Olympic gold medalist Sarah Hughes, Johnny Weir, 2008 world bronze medalist and two-time Olympian, Rosalind Sumners, 1983 world champion and 1984 Olympic silver medalist, Toller Cranston, 1976 Olympic bronze medalist, and Todd Eldridge, 1996 world champion and six-time U.S. national champion. Unlike figure skating, clockwise turns are the standard on the ballet stage. For females, there are very few counterclockwise turners in performances. I was able to find three examples. Francesca Hayward and Roberta Marquez of the Royal Ballet and Catherine Healy. In a 2017 Ballet Focus interview, Francesca described her early training and why she favors counterclockwise. I naturally chose to fouette, pirouette, and chene counterclockwise. In my early ballet classes, my first dance teacher encouraged me to spin and see which side I felt dizzy more quickly. I decided I felt stronger to my left. I felt much less dizzy and therefore more in control of myself turning counterclockwise. Early training may have a role in the clockwise dominance as some teachers may insist that clockwise turning is the correct way. Here's a video of Francesca doing turns on menage circle, counterclockwise in the nutcracker, an unusual direction for a female dancer. Although she prefers counterclockwise, Francesca turns clockwise in supported pirouettes in a pas de deux. Since clockwise is the convention from early pas de deux training in ballet school onward, the expectation is that the female will turn clockwise. This minimizes adjustments and confusion, critical when rehearsal time is short or when there are last minute changes to the cast. Another example of a counterclockwise turner is Catherine Healy, who had a unique background. Before her training at New York City Ballet's School of American Ballet, she was a professional figure skater starting at an early age. She then concentrated on ballet, winning medals at major ballet competitions. At 15, she joined the London Festival Ballet, now the English National Ballet, as a senior principal dancer. Catherine carried over her counterclockwise turning from her early figure skating days to ballet. This video shows counterclockwise fuetes from Swan Lake, with four, five, and even six pirouettes between fuetes. Amazing turns. Similar to Francesca, she turns clockwise in her partnering segment. 
There's more diversity for men on turning preference. I checked YouTube or Instagram videos for male dancers at major companies on their roster in May of 2022. At American Ballet Theater, six out of the 12 principal dancers and soloists favored clockwise. At the Royal Ballet, 10 out of 13 principal dancers, first soloists, and soloists turned clockwise. Five out of eight principal dancers at San Francisco Ballet, and nine out of 12 Mariansky Ballet principal dancers, first and second soloists, turned clockwise. I came up with 30 out of 45 male dancers preferring clockwise, or 67%. A Hall of Fame of great ballet turners would include lefties Angel Correa, Daniil Simkin, Vladimir Vasiliev for Anda Don inside turns. Interesting that some male dancers like Mikhail Baryshnikov, Carlos Acosta, Jose Manuel Carreño turn clockwise on pirouettes, but do leaps on menage counterclockwise. It's important to note that ballet dancers must be able to turn in both directions, unlike gymnasts or skaters who probably never turn in their non-dominant direction. In ballet class, dancers execute combinations on both sides to avoid being one-sided. After the teacher demonstrates a combination, typically with a clockwise orientation, students perform it several times. Then the combination is reversed to the other side with a counterclockwise orientation. This tendency is shown in the Royal Ballet class from 2019 with Brian Maloney as the teacher. The dancers finish the clockwise oriented pirouette combination and switch to the same combination but with a counterclockwise orientation. I also looked at dancers not in ballet to see if there is any rotational preference. I didn't have enough observations to conclude but it was fun. Michael Jackson had definite counterclockwise tendencies, shown here on his famous moonwalk segment. On the other hand, Prince favored clockwise turns, and it was his go-to step in many of his thrilling dance segments, with some jazz-style pirouettes. Here he is performing controversy, with several clockwise turns breaking up his amazing moves. Gene Kelly turned counterclockwise in Anchors Away, in which he did turns in second position. Fred Astaire had a clockwise orientation in his tap dances. Gregory Hines turned counterclockwise in his tap dance solo in the movie White Nights. Another activity where turning is vital is gymnastics. In a study of male gymnasts in the all-around competition in the 2016 Rio Olympics, Bessie found that 82% rotated to the left when in an upright position, while 18% preferred to turn to the right, which is consistent with other gymnastics studies he cites. He developed a classification of rotational schemes shown here. All the gymnasts were consistent, with the x-axis measuring the strength of the tendency to turn right or left. Surprisingly, five gymnasts had no distinguishable turning schemes. Bessie and Pfeiffer in the Science of Gymnastics Journal used the same methodology for women in the 2016 Rio Olympics all-around competition. They found more turning diversity with 52% turn to the right and 48% to the left. Bessie and Pfeiffer believe that the higher preference for clockwise turns for women relative to men could be explained by dance training, which has a tradition of clockwise turning, which is important for women's floor exercise and beam. I couldn't find any material on turning preferences of divers, so instead I looked at complete Olympic finals for men's diving events and found similar results to figure skating, an overwhelming choice for counterclockwise twists. Specifically, I examined the finals for the 2012 London Games for men's and women's springboard and men's platform, along with the 2008 Beijing Games for women's springboard. Of the 48 divers, 40 twisted counterclockwise, or 83%. Among the clockwise twisters was 2012 medalist Thomas Daly of Great Britain. After examining the turning preferences of various activities, let's look at what the academic literature has to say. Laterality refers to the preference humans and animals have for one side of their body over the other, which includes preferences of hand, foot, ear, and turning preference. The field of biological psychology, also known as behavioral neuroscience, studies aspects of laterality. Studies find that humans tend to rotate to the left side or counterclockwise. Day and Day studied the directional preference of boys and girls in a controlled study at a daycare center. The children were asked to perform various tasks, and they found a statistically significant but small counterclockwise preference for both boys and girls. Gunesh and Nalchuja also studied children with experiments carried out in a large room with multiple buzzers, some directly behind the child. The researchers recorded the direction the child turned and found that most children turned to the left, but the tendency was small. 
Moore et al. recruited 36 adults that wore a hip-mounted device for 20 hours to monitor various turning characteristics. They found a left-sided preference to turning behavior. Gollumer et al. studied girls with and without classical dance training. In the group without dance training, 58% turned counterclockwise. Of the group with dance training, only one girl showed a consistent left turn bias, indicating a training influence for dancers. Common sense would indicate that right-handers prefer to turn counterclockwise. Counterclockwise tendencies are apparent in many athletic endeavors. Examples include a right-handed baseball pitcher turning counterclockwise after releasing a pitch, a right-handed batter swinging counterclockwise, and a right-footed soccer player with a counterclockwise follow-through after kicking a ball. Although the notion of right-handers having a natural counterclockwise tendency makes sense, empirical academic research does not confirm a relationship between the handedness and the direction of rotation. Right-handers do not systematically turn to the left. Brown et al. looked at 51 college-level gymnasts and 120 non-athletes. Following eye and hand dominance tests, they examined turning preference in four simple gymnastics maneuvers. When all subjects were pooled, they found no statistically significant correlations relating to turning preference and hand or eye dominance. In their study of dancers and non-dancers, Gollumer et al. report that the preferred hand, foot, and eye did not significantly influence turn direction with eyes open or eyes closed in both groups. Contrary to popular belief, there is not a relationship between handedness and directional preference. There are various innate biological hypotheses scholars posit to explain why humans favor one side over another, including asymmetries relating to the brain, inner ear, and sensory motor systems. There are also learned behaviors and group dynamics at play that influence decisions people make on laterality. In certain fields, the choice of a particular side is vital to the activity, sometimes resulting in a conform or don't perform choice for the individual, regardless of their innately determined preferences. Here, group dynamics and learned behavior are important factors. Societal pressures for the individual to go with the flow. I discussed this in classical ballet, where females turning counterclockwise is rare. Simply put, a female dancer that excels at counterclockwise turns, but is not proficient in clockwise turns, does not advance in ballet. In baseball, while there is a good reason why left-handed throwers cannot play infield positions, except for first base, I have not heard of convincing reasons why a left-hander cannot play catcher. The last left-handed catcher in Major League Baseball was in 1989. Another field that does not embrace left-handed performance is classical music, where lefty string players are scarce, likely discouraged at a very young age. Fortunately, there are no prohibitions against left-handed guitarists in rock and roll. Let's summarize by comparing outcomes of the academic research with various activities. This slide summarizes the continuum of turning averages for multiple sports and ballet, where the left side is counterclockwise and right side clockwise, and the middle is a 50-50 split. Based on a summary of the research, about 60% of subjects turn counterclockwise, a reference point consisting of indifferent subjects where turning has no real consequence in their lives. Male and female figure skaters jump and spin counterclockwise overwhelmingly, and my estimate is about 90%, based on my 2022 Olympic sample and the Starosa study, substantially above the 60% in the research group. Diving is next at 83%, based on the sample I observed. Male gymnasts are next with 80% counterclockwise from Bessie, followed by female gymnasts at 50%. Based on my sample, male ballet dancers are on the other side of the spectrum at 33%, and female ballet dancers occupy the extreme right of the range. Ballet is a substantial outlier relative to the research samples. It's hard to explain the results from the academic literature with the rotational preferences of various sports and dance based on innate biological factors. Participants in these activities are likely influenced by the group on turning preferences. In figure skating, there is probably pressure to conform to the skating norm of the counterclockwise direction. It is simply easier for the group and avoids collisions if all go in the same direction. In gymnastics, the coach's usual and preferred spotting side may have an influence, and the gymnast may have to adapt to the favorite side of the coach. Given the leftward turn preference found by researchers, I understand the basis for counterclockwise turns in gymnastics and figure skating, but can't explain the overwhelming clockwise orientation in ballet. 
A right-handed dancer would likely be right-footed. On a clockwise onto or pirouette, the dancer turns on their non-dominant left leg. I would think that dancers that are right leg dominant would prefer to turn on the dominant leg. When I ask dancers about the overwhelming clockwise preference in ballet, the general response is that it is natural to turn in that direction. There might be some underlying issues in favor of ballet clockwise turns that I'm missing. Still, it is doubtful these points would explain the near prohibition of counterclockwise female turners given the academic research and sports results that have a preponderance of counterclockwise turners. Let me know your thoughts and experiences in figure skating, ballet, gymnastics, diving, or your sport or activity. Thanks for tuning in. And sticks the landing. Well done.